In holy baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father liberates us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. In the waters of baptism, we are reborn children of God and inheritors of eternal life. By the waters of the Holy Spirit, and with God's word, we are made members of the church, which is the body of Christ. As we live with him and with his people, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your child baptized into Christ? In Christian love, you have presented your daughter for holy baptism. You should therefore faithfully bring her to the services of God's house and teach her the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. And as she grows in years, you should place in her hands the Holy Scriptures, provide for her instruction in the Christian faith, that living in the covenant of her baptism and in communion with the Church, she may lead a godly life until the day of Jesus Christ. Do you promise to fulfill these obligations? I do. Sponsors. <coughs> Do you promise to nurture this child in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and to help her to live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? Yeah. People of God, people who are gathered here, do you promise to support Cecilia, to pray for her in her new life in Christ? I ask you to profess now your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended to heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and you will come to him to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Holy God, mighty Lord, gracious Father, we give you thanks for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters and you created the heavens and the earth. By the gift of water you nourish and sustain us and all things. By the waters of the flood you condemn the wicked and save those whom you have chosen, Noah and his family. You led Israel by a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire through the sea, out of slavery and into the freedom of the promised land. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. By the baptism of his own death and resurrection, your beloved son has set us free from the bondage to sin and death and has opened the way to joy and freedom and everlasting life. He made water a sign of the kingdoms and of cleansing and rebirth. In obedience to his command, we make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son. Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit so that Cecilia, who is here baptized, may be given a new life, wash away the sin of she who is cleansed by this water, and bring her forth as an inheritor of your glorious kingdom. To you be given praise and honor and worship for your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever.
God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for freeing your sons and daughters from the power of sin and for raising them up to new life through this holy sacrament. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon Cecilia, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. baptism, God has made this new sister a member of the priesthood that we share in Christ Jesus, that we may proclaim and praise God and bear his creative and redeeming word to all the world. Let us now welcome Cecilia. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Peace be with you. May you share this gift, gift of peace with one another and with Cecilia. <laughs> 